my natural curls here and uh, you all get to see the process of me taking this out of my hair today. <laughs> um, I did have one, have someone to request me to uh, record the process of me taking these out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. If you hear a little person in the background, it's my daughter. She's... She likes to mimic me trying to do her hair. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with uh, my scissors. Now, if your hair is really, really long, uh, longer than mine, you want to be careful. Because when I braid it, how I braid it, some of my hair, I'm going to see if I can show you. My hair actually started to come out. So I want to be extra careful that I don't um, cut any of my hair. Okay. Like this right here is actually the end of one of my braids here. So I definitely don't want to cut that. So what I'm going to do is, let me pin this back up out of the way. Okay, I'm going to fill around and make sure all my ends are tucked in. Here's, look, here's another one. And that's why I'm taking this out so soon because, because of how I had it braided. Actually, um, if I can remember, I'm going to insert a photo uh, right here. And this is how I had my hair braided. Now, whenever I braided the the back, I forgot to include the front braids in this back braid. And so that left me having to put an extra braid across here, across the top, to secure the front the front braids down. And the, the um, this braid of braids actually started coming loose. See? And so I had all of these pinned down with several, uh, several bobby pins. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and cut some of the ends off of where I know my hair is not. My hair stops here. So I'm just going to cut it off a little bit to get it on out of the way. So I'm going to pin this up, up top nice. here. Now another way that you can do this that I've seen it done um, is to add uh, a lot of water, a whole lot, a lot of water and conditioner and just saturate your whole head with it. And this is after, after you cut these down to a length that you're comfortable with. Okay guys, so I did decide to... Um, wet my hair <laughs> a little bit. This is my my water bottle. Oops. And it has just a little bit of conditioner in it. So I'm just gonna add a few drops of my my uh tresemme here. Add a little bit more. Uh, 
I finished the back. I'm going to proceed to the front. I'm going to do the front um, a bit different. <laughs> just kidding I am back and this is what my hair looks like oh I can't wait to wash it and condition it um I'm gonna definitely make sure that I deep condition it um I'm not for sure how much is it has grown since I had my hair braided up and then the protective style but I wasn't expecting like a drastic amount of growth anyway because of the the length of time that I only had it in but right now I'm more focused on doing uh, more protective styling so I can um, reach the length that I'm going for um, I do have another uh, protective style in mind, but I'm not going to reveal that just yet. Um, just stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I will be doing a video. Um, it will be my next video because, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and wash and um, deep condition this hair. And then I will show you guys... Another style, and it's actually going to be my first time for that style too, so <laughs> um, you guys will get to see the process of that style as well. But this is my hair. Like I said, I'm so ready to get it under some water. This is the back. And then the side. And I'm still getting like straggly ends from, see look. <laughs> from the hair coming out. Plus, it's no big deal. I didn't um, encounter any nodding, any major tangling. Like I said, if this hair tangled any, I just went ahead and chopped it off with the scissors. Um, you do want to cut it as short as possible because um, with me taking it out just a minute ago, it was a breeze and it came out with no problem. So if you can get, if you're brave enough to cut the back or if you want to get someone else to cut it, it would make the process a whole lot easier. But this is my hair. Um, I do have a, my door keeps sneaking in on me. I, huh? Yeah. I do have a one year um, anniversary coming up, so that's going to be in September. Yeah, it's going to be in September. Um, September of last year is when I big chopped. So I have been cutting, this is what my hair, I have been cutting a lot of my ends off too. So my hair is not as long as it could be because whenever I started transitioning, my hair was very, very damaged. And so I had so many split ends. I mean, about probably an inch, an inch and a half, well, probably an inch and a half to two inches of new growth, I'm sorry, not new growth, <laughs> split ends that need to be cut off, but um, I didn't want to cut off all the hair at once. <laughs> so I have been gradually, this starts right here, I have been gradually cutting um, my split ends off as I go, because I don't, I'm not as brave yet <laughs> to cut that much of my hair off. This is the side. And I don't even think I've done any video clips during the, um, this first year of my hair journey. I'll show you some pictures, but I don't think I have any videos where I've done an actual lint check this is the other side. Now, the front of my hair has always been short. Like, when I first big chalk, oh, my God, it was so sad. My hair barely, barely went um, here, if I'm not mistaken. And so now, it is... <laughs> 